getting quite excited about this one. Um, it's called Rumble Studio. I'm Phil, I review software. The link down there is always the special link. Just, just, just click on it and have a look at the price. Always go into the description and have a look at my special link because I always update it. If there's a lifetime deal, it's there. If it's a special price, it's there. So have a look at the price. But Rumble Studio claims to be a new way to record audio, podcasts, interviews. And it's very clever because when you want to ask someone a question for your podcast or for your interview, it will send them your recorded voice saying, hi, tell me why you think the question and then you will create the interview, they will record it back, and then you've got content. Does that make sense? Probably not. Let's jump in and see what I mean. So when you come to the start of Rumble Studio, there is a video on the screen, and obviously you can go and have a look on YouTube and find out exactly how it works. But in all of my videos, I just try and show you the basic working. So you think, hmm, I wanna find out more about this. And then if you're interested, click my link, get the trial. Uh, and of course, if you wanna get advanced into all of the features of Rumble Studio, yeah, go and have a look at someone else's vid. Here's the video I recorded earlier, I think. Hello, my name's Carl Robinson, co-founder, CEO, and on behalf of my... And he was chatting away. This was an interview that so he created where... So, let's get started. Are you watching? Listen. To kick things off, please could you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Phil, and I review software. <laughs> Fantastic. You're yeah. already halfway through this interview. Fast forward a bit. I wanted to try Rumble Studio because I found it a very interesting way and a new way of recording audio. So this is the thing you can set up. So that Carl, who's the gaffer, the boss, he set up this Welcome to Rumble Studio where he's recorded the, hi, I'm Carl and this is that. So tell me, why did you find, why did you want to get uh, and try Rumble Studio? So I can create a new interview like that. This is great. So the interview title is gonna be, what do you, love about what do you love about <laughs> reviews software uh, and there you go that's private and optional so i can record a simple interview so i go here we go this is good so i want to have a welcome message in my simple interview then an audio request an audio request and a closing message but you can make this video interview a little bit longer and you could basically add what you want into this interview. And let's create this. So, all right, let's start my little interview. Here we go. Uh, I wanna close Carl down. Carl, how do I get rid of Carl? There we go. Let's lose the Carl. He's gone. And I wanna record my first little question. So here we go. Hi, I'm Phil. Thanks for watching my channel, Phil Review Software. As a fellow software reviewer, I'd like you to tell me what you think about my channel and what I could do to improve it. Oof. Here we go. Hi, I'm Phil. Thanks for watching my channel. Phil Review Software. As a fellow software reviewer. So you see where they're going with this. I mean, this would be great. You know, if you're sending out initial interviews to people. So, so I've always thought this for years about sending CVs into companies. I've always thought for years that anybody can make a good CV sound really great, but how do you actually get to know the person? So say you're the boss or you're in HR in a company and hi, I'm Phil uh, and I'm thinking of hiring you for my company. So just tell us a little bit about what you know about my business or about the company and uh, why you think you would be great working here. Imagine doing that so that you could kind of, what's the word, triage, I'm thinking about hospitals. So you can pre-audition people and get find out a little bit about them first. So then you send them an audio request. Uh, here we go. So, tell me, me, why you should, tell me what you don't like about my content. Oh no. So now I record a description. Hi, it's Phil again. Listen, be brutally honest. Hopefully you're enjoying my videos, but I'm sure some of them make you cringe. Tell me what you like and dislike about my videos and content. <gasps> Here we go. This is what it's going to sound like. Hi, it's Phil again. Listen, be brutally honest. Hopefully you're enjoying my videos, but I'm sure some of them make you cringe. <laughs> Tell me what you like and dislike about my videos and content. So that's, that's played it back then, and I can record a response to that. By the way, noises in the background. We're on a main road today, and there's a motorbike driving past that was very loud. Oh, I can't record an answer in preview. So that's how it'll look on the screen. So there we go. Uh, I've recorded one. 
and then I scroll down. I've got another request. I can record another title. Um, what should I add to my channel? And I can record. Yeah, so it's Phil again. Tell me what you think I should add to my YouTube channel. What videos would you like to see on my Phil Review software channel? And again, there's another another question that they can fill in the answer to. And then I can say, thanks so much for taking the time to complete the form. Hopefully I'll use your response in one of my audio podcasts and you can tell me what you think, or I might even include it in this Rumble Studio video. Okay, so you can see that I've recorded a basic uh, interview request for people. I've asked them to tell me what they don't like about my channel, what I could add to my channel. But if you just have a look down the left, you can see you can add images into this. You can request videos of people so they can record a video. Uh, you can send welcome messages, more message steps, more closing messages. You can set up the interview with exactly, well, just with everything you want. Um, multiple choice questions, you can refer all the guests and call to actions. Um, I like this a lot, it's good. Once you've recorded it, you can save it and then you can send them the interview. So once you have recorded and you are happy with your interview, with the questions and you've dragged and dropped everything. So there's the steps on the left, you drag in all of these. So if you wanted to do a video request, you could drag that in as well. And you can add, please send a video. All right, it's Phil again. Please send me a video. Just upload the file. A video of you talking to camera and reviewing any kind of software. Thanks. So there you go, a video request can all be also be included. All right, it's Phil again. Please send me a video. So once you've created your full interview, you can customize it. You can change the colors. You can add photos, change the font family and make it look unique. And when you're ready and you're happy with it, you can share it. And the ways you can share it are in several different ways. You can either send them an email, an email invitation link. You could tweet a link. You can copy the code for the link. They can download it by scanning the QR code or you can embed the interview onto your website or even a PDF flyer uh, or simply click copy the link and it will copy the link and you can send that and then anybody who clicks on the link let's try and do it now so let's just see if that works so I've copied the link and I'm pasting it in and I press return so here we go once you've got the link and you click on it this is what it does hi I'm Phil thanks for watching my channel Phil Review Software as a fellow software reviewer, I'd like you to tell me what you think about my channel and what I could do to improve it. Okay, so here we go. It asks for a video. I've done it, to be fair, in the setup. So in that first link, I mustn't have put the response thing in. So uh, in the next link, I had the please send video. And here's what I've done correctly. I'm still learning the software myself. Hi, it's Phil again. Listen, be brutally honest. Hopefully you're enjoying my videos, but I'm sure some of them you cringe so there's a response there where they've got to tell me what they don't like about my content i think all your content is rubbish and then they can play it back i think all your content is rubbish they can play it back what should i add to my channel and you can see there you go it's i've created it what should i add to my channel yeah so it's phil again tell me what you think i should add to my youtube channel i think we need some more people who've got more things to say than you, sorry, I'm just waffling now. Uh, yeah, so that, and that's how it goes. Thanks for taking time to complete the, re the form and that's how you get your content. It'd be great for interviewing people. Let's jump out and uh, see my final thoughts on Rumble Studio. So what I use Rumble Studio, I think the first thing to say is it's got a lot of uses. It's, I'm thinking about interviewing people, pre-screening people for jobs. Uh, also, maybe a competition. If you wanna grow your brand and you could get people to send in uh, them singing you could do a talent contest joke competition any kind of content i like it uh yep yeah. also if you're just doing a podcast and you want to get people hi i'm creating the late, next episode of the podcast i've got a few questions for you you can get the people doing the podcast to reply with their answers and edit them into your podcast so would i use it gotta be honest probably not something i would use if i was uh, a company owner who interviewed people i think that's a great way to screen clients if I was creating audio and a podcast, I think it's a fantastic tool to send out interview questions or to be creative with it and maybe design competitions where people need to reply with audio or, as we saw as well, video. So great piece of kit. 
The link down there is always the best link. Always click on that link and see the price. Because you might think I don't need this, but then you see the price and the lifetime deal for it. You'll think, oh, I'll add that to my arsenal. Thanks for watching. Cheers for subscribing. And I'll see you for the next one really soon.